Plus, I think it takes a while. Thank you. Think about it, huh? What? Think about it. What? Think about it. Okay, we are live. Hey, 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 we're live. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. Monkey, monkeys. We're trying something different here, people. <clears throat> trying to bear with us. Share this video. Sharing it. Getting it. Get got good. Let's see if this guy can work his freaking magic. Monkeys. 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 <clears throat> trying something different here, people. Probably not going to want the noise. I'm going to get this there, everybody. Yeah, right here. Uh -oh. So you're gonna post it into <clears throat> other groups now. <clears throat> share, the live share, link. Share. See you guys. We're gonna be everywhere. Okay. okay we got one viewer. All right. That's probably me. <laughs> probably. Yeah, uh, yeah, because he isn't <clears throat> watching it. You good? Um. Yeah, I wouldn't keep going. I mean, I'm Five shares. Sharing it wherever I find. There's another one. All right, That's I think, we're, cool. I think we're, we're live in some groups here. Yeah. For the first time. First time in a long time. For anybody that doesn't know, we we are a three-man power, power trip. trip. Sport channel. Sport channel. We do all NFL stuff. Yeah. We go, over, we go over all the games, make predictions, go over news, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. All that boring stuff. Yeah, it's all... <clears throat> We'll try not to be more. <laughs> but um, too late for that. Are you ready, Jordan? I'm still going. Yeah, go ahead. He's got 14 shares on this. Jeez, oh, Pete. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. Okay. Um, I guess we'll get going here. The Thursday night game was the Patriots at the Rams. Six and six Patriots at the eight and four Rams. The Rams won that 24 to three. That's who I picked. Mm hmm. I picked the Patriots. I so picked the Patriots. I couldn't help myself. I mean, the Rams looked good. You guys in Belichick, man, come on. Yeah, the Patriots are now six and seven. The Rams are now nine and four. It's um, the looking pretty good for the Rams. They go. What are you doing I here, mean, man? The Rams. Look good. Good. <laughs> We're talking. He's like sharing it into a bunch of groups. Um. Anyways, the, the Rams look good. They're now 9-4. and four. They're in control of that division. They've looked a little spotty here and there, mm -hmm. but they're coming on. They're, they're coming on. Mess. And the Patriots, they got Cam Newton. So. I think it's time yeah, for... Cam, yeah, Cam Newton's statistics have not looked very good. I think it's time yeah. for them to go elsewhere for Cam. Mm -hmm. I think they'll draft somebody. Or they'll bring in, maybe they'll bring in a Carson Wentz or something next mm -hmm. year. Yeah, you never know. So. Uh, I don't think the Patriots are making the postseason this year, but I think the Rams have a good shot if they can continue to play. I think so. Play like this. Yeah. I, we'll go into the Sunday games, the early 1 p.m.ers. The 4-8 and eight Broncos at the 4-8 and eight Panthers. This one kind of could have went either way, kind of what we said last week. Um, the Broncos did win 32-27. to 27. I took the Panthers. So, I took the Panthers, uh, too. So we all went over three, over yeah. three on this pick. The, Pan the Panthers are a confusing team this mm -hmm. year because they've they've looked really good at some points. And then they look, and then they fall apart. They um marks. they fell apart against your Vikings. Yeah. Or your Vikings got going. Got going. Got one of the, one of the two. One of the two. But um, uh, um, the Broncos are kind of the same way. Like like you're saying with the Panthers, how yeah. they're they've shown flashes. Mm -hmm. But nothing. Panthers seem to be a more promising team to me, right, on right. paper at least. I mean, mm. No, but you got Teddy and you got McCaffrey. McCaffrey. Well, in all fairness, McCaffrey has been out pretty much all mm -hmm. year, so that's that's messed him up. And they, they do have PJ Walker in case Teddy goes down. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's undefeated yeah, as a he starter. Did yeah, he, he is yeah. technically. I guess that's it for the Broncos and Panthers. We'll go on to the um, four and eight Texans at the five and seven Bears. What happened? The Bears won this game, <laughs> thirty-six to seven, and Trubisky had better stats than Mahomes and Watson. And Watson this week. Yeah, this week. <laughs> um, it's just one of those games, man. The I took the Texans to win just because so I. I, I thought the Texans had a little more talent, but the Bears came alive. Mm -hmm. But the Bears started like five and one. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And now they're they were five and seven coming into this game. They're six yeah. and seven now. But it's like man, you start five and one and then just drop off, and then you have one good performance like this. So I'm still. I'm still not sold on the Bears. No, I the think tech, they have Texans some Texans have a lot of problems too. So, but really, no. On the flip side, with the Texans, what do you, what do? You do? Mm, you, I think you unload Watt. We've said this the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Off season, you got to unload Watt. How? I don't know if Watson's going to want out, but he just signed a yeah. huge contract. Supposedly, they said that they're going to be leaning, talking to Watson about who he wants as the head coach. Mm. Mm. See, see where they go moving you're, forward. You're coming in there with a lot of missing picks, like we said. Mm-hmm. So it's, the job's not appealing. Is it? I mean, you have a quarterback, which is your main thing you need. But but do you think a lot of coaches want to draft their guy? I mean, Watson's pretty damn good. Yeah, he's... So that I mean, that like I said, you got the quarterback, but you need O line. You don't have any draft picks because no. you gave them all up. Pretty much first, second round. So. Uh... Um... <clears throat> and the yeah. Bears side, I have no idea what the hell's going on. Yeah, I don't either. Like I said, the Texans were four and eight coming in. They lost, so they're four and nine now. It's just Mr. Bissy coming in looking like fucking Joe Montana. Woo! <laughs> David Montgomery looking like Barry Sanders. <laughs> I don't know, man. The Bears just pulled pulled one out. Um, they're six and seven now. I still don't Pulling see them. There's only three weeks to go. I think the season's pretty much done for a lot of teams. I yeah. think so too. Mathematically, it's not. But no. you kind of know you where feeling. you're. You know where you're leaning. I got a feeling. Right? Um, I can touch my the soul. next one, uh, the three and nine Cowboys, which is my Your team. Cowboys. Yeah, my Cowboys, at the two nine and one Bengals. The Cowboys won thirty to seven. This wasn't a big shocker. It, it wasn't a big shocker. I think we all took the Cowboys just because mm-hmm. it's the Bengals without Burrow yeah. and all that. But um, it was just kind of a feel good win. Cowboys are. I feel yeah. good. <laughs> the, um, the Cowboys season is basically over. The Washington football team seems to Uh-oh. be in control of that. Somebody them. called that a couple weeks ago. Yeah, they seem to be in control of this um, division right now. Well, they've got some issues but, right now. And we'll, we'll like I said, I'm just going to call it a feel good win for the Cowboys. Yeah. We, we played well, but it was against a bottom barrel team. So probably, on, the, probably the third worst team in the league right, right. now. Right. On to the. On to the Bengals. Um, two nine and one. They're now two ten and one. Well, on the flip side, AJ Green scored a touchdown. <laughs> yeah, AJ Green got a touchdown. There was an AJ Green sighting. Um, I don't really know what I'll say about it. Without Burrow, not much to say about him. right? Without Gio Burrow, Barney, there's not much to say about him. Give Arnie Bernard fumbled the ball and never came back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna sum it up to a feel good win for the Cowboys and just another <laughs> loss for the Bengals. No. Um, we'll move on to the eight and four Titans at the one and eleven Jaguars. Who do you think won? Oh Jaguars. man, Jaguars. we all no, took no. we all took the Titans. Um, the Titans did win thirty one to ten. Derrick Henry yep. tore it up. Derrick again. Henry tearing it up again. King Henry. Yeah, but King King Henry, man. Um, Titans are now nine and five. Jaguars are one and twelve. Second worst team in the league. So it's time for Minshew Mania again. Yep. Yep. God, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. Make M- a Minshew did come in, and yeah. I think he's the one that got, got one. Got well, they've been saying all actually. along, a lot of the players said they want him in yeah. there. So it's like, I don't know what they're doing. They're obviously drafting they're, a quarterback. They're 1-12, in 12, though. Like you said, they're going to be drafting a quarterback. I don't know if Minshew's the way to go or no. what, but I'm guessing they're going to be drafting a quarterback oh, for man. sure. Titans are 9-4 and four, um, and in control. Of the AFC South, so and the Jaguars are one and twelve and in yeah. control of the second place <laughs> the second spot. Place <laughs> Justin so, Fields, welcome. Yeah, to Jacksonville. Justin Fields. That, that's what I'm guessing there too. The uh, next game up is the eleven and one Chiefs at the eight and four Dolphins. This was a close game. This was a close game. The Chiefs did win thirty three to twenty seven. But it was a close game. It, um, yeah. The Chiefs are now twelve and one. The Dolphins fall to eight and five. Dolphins but, are on the right track. Yeah, man. Dolphins are on the right track for Very sure. Very surprising this year that they've been playing so well. Their defense is like one of the top defenses in the league right now. Mm-hmm. And the, the big four is Mahomes to throw two picks again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mahomes had two interceptions. That's the second time he's had no. multiple interceptions at um at the Miami Stadium. No, so on the Chiefs side, do you think? Do you think Mahomes and them were kind of getting sloppy? 
I, just because they already they, know they're in. They show signs of sloppiness about that, every game here. Yeah, that's year. what I was gonna say too. Is they're twelve and one. They have not. They've only lost one game mm -hmm. in the last four hundred physical days. Four hundred I mean, days. Do you think two, only one loss, and that was the year think, Raiders? Do you think two maybe Hill and they're kind of just? I think Hill maybe seems like he's getting a little cocky. Huh? Yeah, a, a little bit. Mahomes yeah, did have some pretty happen. good throws though. But you know that that's what makes champions great is you know you throw a couple interceptions, have a couple bad plays, a thirty yard sack. He, he took a loss for thirty yards. But but he still came back and won. Yeah. So it's you know, that's what champions do. They are twelve and one. Like I said, they've been on a winning tear they're still over the, the last I think they're still the team to beat in, in yep, the AFC They are right the now. team to beat, but like you guys said they're beatable. A little sloppy at times. They are definitely beatable. You just have to have the right playbook, the right roster. Mm -hmm. You have to go at them the right way. You have to be the one that controls the tempo. You, you don't the let you don't let Mahomes the field. right. Yeah. You don't let Mahomes control the tempo, or, or you're screwed. Oh, yeah. Well, I think I think another t thing with the Chiefs, it's kind of like you said with the Ravens last year. They're on this winning streak. They're winning streak. You're gonna eventually lose. Right. And like you're the, gonna be due for a loss. You're better to lose it in the regular season than you are. Exactly. Especially yeah. if the way it's looking right now, they're gonna get the first run by. Mm-hmm. And what happens normally? You get a little rusty. Yeah. Yep. Which I think that they could go in there maybe and face the you know if the Raiders make it in one of these teams I think could upset them. Mm -hmm. I, I I agree with that. Yeah, I I think that the Chiefs are definitely beatable. On the flip side with the Dolphins, they the, they're two is looking promising. Yeah, they you know? are going on an upward trend for sure. I can't remember what the statistics were, but they said. He's got over a thousand. I think it was a thousand yards in the past couple games without his starting running back, mm -hmm. receiver, tight ends out, and a couple linemen. Which God, the Dolphins haven't been relevant since Marino, man. It's what it seems. Isn't there, it? yeah, just a good season here and there, yeah. maybe. What are you talking about? They had Fitzpatrick. What a weird year, man. Yeah, the Dolphins are on the up and up. The Browns the are Bills. on the up. And up. Yeah, you know, really. If I think we go back to some of our older videos, I think. The offseason, we said that we thought the Dolphins were going to be on the yeah. uprise. Mm -hmm. yeah. I guess we'll move on from that one. The 6-6 six and six Cardinals at the 5-7 and seven Giants. The Cardinals won 26-7. Kind of kind yeah. of what we expected there. Um, Giants did win some games in a row there for a yep. little bit, but they're still a team that's right. struggling. Um, Daniel Jones didn't play very well. Colt McCoy. But... The guy for the Cardinals, Kyle I can't Murray. remember. No, no, I can't know the defensive oh. guy. He had like five sacks. Oh, uh, it's and an I, age, doesn't it? I can't remember the guy's name. name, but he had like five sacks. He was terrorizing that offensive line. I can't think. I don't know. <clears throat> I know yeah, he's going to look it up real quick. He had quick. a forced fumble, too, if I remember right. Yep, forced fumble. But, man, he just t terrorized that line, dude. Um, The Cardinals are now 7-6. The Giants fall to 5-8 and eight, officially. And the Giants um, are still in the mix for the East. So. We, yeah, like I said, the surprising thing for me was just that um, the guy that he's looking up, he had like five sacks, dude. That was very surprising to me. Who was it? We're all waiting with anticipation. What was your name? Who who you be? Who you be? Did we send that? Did we send that in the group? No, I don't think we did. Hold on a second. Let me go to Yahoo Sports. Yeah. Technical difficulty. Technically, <laughs> so how's it? So how's everybody doing out there? <laughs> just looking for, just looking for. Just looking, just look at it. Just look at it. Hello. God, it's like watching paint dry. Dude. I know, fellas. Good things. Is you everybody else to, bored? You have to wait for good things to come. We got like four viewers, and we're waiting on this guy's Is anybody, name. Anybody right. bored? Right. Hassan Reddick. Hassan, Hassan Reddick. There, there we, we go. go. Yeah, there Hassan Reddick had like five sacks, dude. He was he was just on a tear. Um, yeah, Cardinal seven and six. Giants are five and eight, like you said. The Giants. They won a couple in a row there, yeah. but they kind of came down to reality in this game. Oh yeah. No. Uh -oh. Let's not talk about this, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no, let's talk about it. Um, the six and six Vikings <sighs> at the seven and five Buccaneers. This finishes out the Sunday early games. 
Fucking Bucks, man. Bucks win twenty six to fourteen. The that wasn't the shock of the I took the Bucks to win. I did too. So it didn't shock me that the Bucks won. It shocked me about the Vikings kicker. Dan Bailey. Why why does this man have a job still? To the left, to the left. I don't know. I seen it I seen a meme. Um, I think Jordan sent the meme about um Jersey s- that Sarah Fuller. Oh um, okay. that, that we, um, it was having We have the worst luck with kickers. I don't know what it is. Kickers will start out really good and then Well Dan Bailey go to was, shit. Dan Bailey was good and we got a like. Well he was doing was well he was doing good with the Vikings here actually this season up until the last couple games and then what do, you, I don't know. what do you think it is with kickers? Do you think it is like a mental block? I was watching yeah, Pat it, McAfee said that it's just something you get in your head, man. Mm-hmm. Once he missed that first one, <clears throat> yeah, then you, you miss can't the extra shake point. It. Yeah, you just can't. So literally, <clears throat> he missed an extra point. He missed three field goals. So your three field goals would have put you, because you, you lost 26 to 14. It yeah. would have been 17, 20, 23, and you have a game. 24. Yeah. So that's, goal, that's a game. A field yeah. goal wins the game. And, and not only that, when you make the field goal, it kind of s- settles the game. Something about field because goals. The, because then you get the field goal, then you do the kickoff. <clears throat> they don't get the ball right there at the 44-yard line. It, it's a whole different feel mm-hmm. to the game. The, the energy oh. changes. So I don't know if it would have been a 26-14 to 14 final. You see what I'm oh, saying? Oh, yeah. And, and to be honest with you, the Vikings had the ball, like, what'd they say, 39 minutes of that game? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I don't... It, the field goals killed us. Is, um, Brady really didn't even look that great. Right. I've seen there, some missed throws, there but was, then he had some good throws, too. There was... I'm going to complain, but... Here there we was, go. There was a lot of bad calls yeah, in that game. Yeah, there was... Kind of like Vikings and Saints games. Well, uh, <laughs> The Hail Mary. They said they hadn't called pass interference on a Hail Mary oh, since yeah. 2009 or something like that. That was, ca- that, that that was, that was kind of questionable. Yeah. And the, the clock's slow when it gets so Brady can get down there. And I'm telling you, dude, watch the replays. There's some weird shit. Mike Evans slips and then it's pass interference. I, I don't know, man. I don't complain about that too much, yeah. but I mean, sometimes real, it gets under your skin. Really, well, yeah, it, it and then Cousins, get, he got hit right in the head. Mm-hmm. They didn't no call it. No flags. It does seem like, too, sometimes it, I mean, it can be working for your team. Yeah. But then you can see it on the flip side where you're like, oh, this, it sucks. I mean, I can understand a couple calls here and there, but there was like six. Well, I think, mm-hmm. going, I mean, it was I like, think really going past this last week, there was a lot of penalties called. No. Yeah. And there's certain officiating crews that seem to call more. They talk about that, too. Mm. They're more aggressive with them. Yeah. They don't throw that, penalties on anything. Man. There's ones that let them go out and play. But I've noticed a lot of times in games, like, where the play clock's running down, and it'll hit zero, and they haven't hiked the ball yet, and they then they hike it, and they don't call yeah, it. You know it, what I mean? It's it, like, why are if they... If it hits zero, it should yeah, be whistled. it's weird. But anyway, I mean, the Vikings, they, <coughs> they're struggling this year anyway. Yeah. I mean, and do I want them to make the playoffs... At this Not point, really. Yeah. They're going to get eliminated in the first round. What you guys matter? are like 14th in the draft selection. 14 I'm, right now. You're officially six and seven. The Buccaneers rose to eight and five. But um. So what, as the Vikings, what do you want? You guys would you rather lose out? You so, I would. Ra- I would. Ra- I would rather lose at the beginning of the season yeah. when we were playing bad. Um, then you guys started playing good, and then you're back to this crap again. Because really, yeah. even if you guys go six to ten, that'll probably put you maybe at eight. Nine. Yeah, you could get in the top ten, but well, I don't think you'll I, get in the I, top I, I think five. We're gonna, I think we're going to go eight and eight. Yep, yeah, you're going to be yeah, right down the middle. Eight, 14, 15, like you said. We've got we've got the Bears, Saints, yeah. and Lions. Yeah, those are the last three games. A couple winnable games, maybe mm-hmm. not the Saints. Maybe the well, Saints. Maybe the Saints. I guess we'll move on yeah. to the four o'clock Don't games. Don't you dare move on. The eight and four <laughs> Colts at the seven and five Raiders. I took the Colts here. Yeah, um, bullshit. Not even. The Colts <laughs> won forty four to twenty seven. The running backs got going. The um, the Colts played well. The, yeah, they did. If anybody anybody that knows us or has followed us, I'm a Cowboys fan at heart. But Colts are kind of my second team since we're from Indiana. And I'm a Vikings so. fan, and my second team is the Raiders. So. I'm a Ravens, and I like He's the a Ravens, and he likes 
Who? Ra- the Raiders. The Ravens. The Ravens Raiders. and Raiders. So, um, anyways, the Colts are my second team here. So, um, they won forty-four to twenty-seven. Colts are now nine and four, right there with the Titans as far as the AFC South goes, and then the Raiders fall to seven and six. Yeah. Um, like I said, the positive <clears throat> for the Colts, the running back, the running game was very strong, and you know Rivers played well and. The Colts are one of those teams that if they play on point, I could see them upsetting the Steelers. I could even see them upsetting the Chiefs. To be honest with you, I, if can, I can see a they, lot of people upsetting the Steelers. Right, if they're on point. I've seen some games where Rivers wasn't on point. Once and Rivers turns bad. into that turnover machine. Right. It, and it's, but, like, so, it's, it's night and day. Like Once it yeah. happens, like it starts getting there. And then it's gone. I remember right. some of his games with the Chargers, man. I mean, there was games he threw like five interceptions, and it's like, what is going on? Right. Like, but when it, it if, rains, it pours. If you know? Rivers can keep this type of offense rolling, I think the Colts, I think they could make They're some damage. Team. They could do some damage in the playoffs. I don't know if they will, but I'm just saying they have the talent mm-hmm. to do it if they can control the game. On the Raiders side of things, I don't know why they're seven and six. I feel that their talent level is above seven and six. They're, they've been they've been like a Jekyll and Hyde team kind right. of this year. They and beat the Chiefs, yeah. but then almost, almost lose twice. to the Jets. What is going on well, with these guys, man? They just they fired their defensive coordinator after mm-hmm. this game, Paul Gunther. Um, they're they've been really banged up on defense between COVID. Injuries. I mean, it's 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 been pretty bad on that side of the ball. I mean, they give up a mm-hmm. lot of points, and when the offense is humming, man, it's it's on. You know, with Waller right. and Jacobs. Jacobs was hurt last week, and I, I, they're right there to make the playoffs. Will they make the playoffs? I think hey. they need some help. Awesome. <clears throat> this game helped out the Ravens, so no, so. Right. <laughs> yeah, if it helps you guys out, that's all right with me. I guess we'll move on. The 0 and 12 Jets at the 8 and 4 Seahawks. Who do you think won? Jets. <laughs> the Seahawks won 40 to 3, as we all predict. I mean, I didn't predict the score, but we predicted the Seahawks to win. 40 to 3. 40 to 3 was the Woo! final score. Jets are now 0 and 13. Seahawks are 9 and 4. Well, let's just sum it up. The Jets are terrible. Hey. Seattle is good. Hey. Now we can sum this up one thing. The Jets scored as many points as the Patriots this week. Hey! Hey! There you go. At least the field goal kicker is getting some you know, fantasy points. Oh, yeah, yeah the, um, Seattle's 9-4. and four. Now, we kind of had Wilson as MVP early on. Then he kind of fell off. This is against the Jets. Yeah, this is but, the but, thing. Um... It's a good win for them. Yeah. Maybe it gets them back on track a little bit, get some humming a little bit, you know, get an easy win over a <laughs> over a bottom barrel team. I don't team, know. It's so. kind of it's it's like beating up a slow kid. But yeah, I, <laughs> you just, you know, I mean, I mean, are you are you really yeah, proud of it? Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm just saying. Is um, sorry. Is, is this gonna get Wilson back on track? Is kind of yeah, what I was getting at. It's possible. <laughs> it's true. Sometimes you need like an easy win to kind of get flowing again. You know what I mean? I just cracked him up. That's it's true, true though. I'm sorry <laughs> if that wasn't politically correct, but I mean, it's true. Sometimes you need just that tap it in. Just tap. Terrible guys. Seattle's nine and four. Jets are zero and thirteen. We'll move on. Trevor Lawrence. And, Woo. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence for the Jets. The nine and three Packers at the five and seven Lions. This was a little tighter than what what I thought, but we did kind of think the Packers would win. The Packers won thirty one to twenty four. Oh, it was tight. Really? The Lions. They put up a fight. Yeah, man. They, yeah, even though they've been they losing did. some of these games, they've they've been playing well. I mean, they're putting up points. So, with that being said, the Packers are now ten and three. The Lions are five and eight. Packers so, are going to win the North. So yeah, they've, already, they've already won the North. Yeah, yeah, they've already pretty much locked the North up. <clears throat> so, not much to say. Yeah, not much to say. Um, just Rodgers and Rodgers well, and Adams I going off again. One of the takeaways from the Packers game, I don't know if you guys watched it. Or the highlight. They're feeding more of that, what is it, Jamal Williams? 
Mm. Yeah. The backup. The backup yeah. running back. Aaron Jones isn't playing a whole lot. Mm. And they were kind of saying that it might have something to do with his contract here. Because mm. he's a free agent after this year. They're kind of seeing what they have with Williams. No. I'd take Aaron Jones. Yeah. Yeah. He's not a bad running back. I'd take anybody. Um, <laughs> the line, line side of things, man, they're 5-8. and eight. Mm. The highlight Looks. of this team is Adrian Peterson. Yep, Adrian and Peterson his, still got it. <laughs> but um, I don't really know what else to say about him. It's, yeah. I, I had Matt Stafford as my um, Lewis comeback player of the year, but that's going to go to Alex Smith. Well, he sure will. A lot, a lot of mock drafts got the Lions taking a quarterback. I don't mm-hmm. know if that's the answer or not. Man. I don't know. Yeah, I think they might have some other issues. <laughs> but ever since they got rid of Patricia, they have played a little better. Why? They're yeah. still losing. Why? Why is it always these yeah. interim coaches can change? They're still losing, but but they are playing a little tighter games yeah, here. Yeah, They're not losing as bad as the Jets. <laughs> no. The, 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 field goal. the next game is the 4-8 and eight Falcons at the 3-9 and nine Chargers. <laughs> this was a good game, 20-17. to 17. Did we all pick the Falcons? Yeah. I don't know. I picked the I Falcons. Did. I did. The, yeah. the Chargers ended up winning 20 to 17. This is another one we went 0 and 3 on between us three. We know how to pick them. Yeah. The, um, so the Falcons are now 4 and 9. I don't know what's going on with them. Young Hung Koo. The, um, <laughs> the Chargers cool. are also now 4 and 9. So. Yeah. Yeah, another game, the Chargers lost by uh, six points from there. <laughs> yeah, another one that, that was a tight one. But um, the oh, Falcons it just have. tight. The Falcons just have so much talent. <laughs> so much talent, it's tight. <laughs> Terrible, man. Jeez. But, um, the Falcons have so much talent, man. They have, you know, Julio Jones. Matt Chargers Ryan. got talent, too. You wouldn't believe. No, I'm, just, I'm talking about the 4-9. Four, the four I'm talking about them being 4-9 and nine overall. Well, true. Yeah. It's like the overall just is shocking to me. You got, They've always been that you way. You got though. Julio and Matty Ice and... Matty Ice. You got the talent, but <clears throat> they're, they're they remind- lost like three games that were really close, and this one was a three point loss. Like, they're the kind of like man? they're kind of like the Vikings to me. Like they they're good one year and then the next year, right? They, they, really, though, they, they, they have good. not been the same since that Super Bowl. Yep, no, they yeah. haven't. They they have not been the same. On the Chargers yeah, side of things, the they're four and nine. This was a good win for them. Austin Eckler's back. Yeah. And they lost Keenan Allen with an ACL. So yeah, that was the that was the big news with that. But I mean, they're four and nine. Mike they're Williams not gonna was hurt. They're four and nine. There's still enough <laughs> games to turn it around. No, the Max had go seven and nine. But well, hell, they can um, take the NFC East if it was still <laughs> probably. Can but uh, the, the Chargers it? are a team that's on the rise. Oh yeah, Herbert. Like we were saying about Miami. Maybe Huey. Herbert looks like the real deal. Yep. So. And we'll kind of finish with that. Yeah, I think the Chargers are on the rise. The Falcons need and the takeaway. The Falcons that, need need a change. The takeaway was this game was very tight scoring. Yeah, it's so tight. He wouldn't believe oh it. this God. next one. Wow, let's talk about this one. The Wait, ten the, and two Saints at the three eight and one Eagles. Eagles. Let Eagles. me repeat that. The Eagles the, win this game. 24-21. Jalen Hurts, we all took first the start. But you know what? I think we all kind of went, this could, I think last week we kind of said, could Hurts yeah, do it? Yeah, we weren't really we sure. We didn't know. We weren't, weren't really sure what Hurts. He looked pretty good, I mean. Right. Now, do you think it's him being good, or do you, do you Just think a maybe good game. There, there's not a lot of tape? Right. <clears throat> That's I possible. I kind of see that. I've seen a lot. I, I don't know. You've probably seen it on, they were kind of talking on some of the mm-hmm. you know, ESPN stuff. Saying that Wentz mentally is just not there. Mm-hmm. It's weird because a couple of years ago they're talking about how he'd be the MVP. Right. And then you you know you've got. I was like a totally different quarterback. You know your team signs you this big huge guaranteed deal. Then it turns mm-hmm. out they take a, they take a quarterback. Quarterback. In the second round, which is kind of. We I talked about this last week as well. We got the comment? we got kind of. What's this little know. guy? What's this little guy? Oh, comment. Just look at it. How do you see the comments? Shouldn't it be down there? Hello. I'm going to scroll it down a little bit. It says it's not sad. What does that mean? Oh. <coughs> Show? No. Or slow? I don't know. I have no idea. Actually, yeah. <clears throat> Might be on something else. 
Anyways, um, back to reality. The, yeah, back to reality. <laughs> the back Saints, to the the Saints are now ten and three. <clears throat> the Eagles are three nine and and one. But what I was gonna say is, um, Wentz, like you're saying, how he's having these mental problems. The same thing <laughs> happened with the Packers. They took a quarterback. Rodgers turned around, stepped his game up. Stepped his game up. He's having an MVP caliber season. I don't know if he'll be MVP, but MVP caliber. Some, I don't think some people Wentz, can deal with... Right, Wentz, went, you said Cousins is the same way. Yeah. Cousins doesn't like someone behind him no. pressuring him. And he gets all frazzled. Well, look, Wentz got frazzled. We did have a comment. Oh, we did? From uh, Max Billington said, The Wolf and the Shepherd podcast are Cowboys fans. How hard is it to be a Cowboys fan these days? Oh, um... It's pretty hard this season. It's real hard. <laughs> it's yeah. Um, the Cowboys' victory, thirty to seven over the Bengals, was a it was a feel good win. But feel good. I want to give um, I want to give McCarthy another year or two to really install his process and program. <clears throat> but if it doesn't turn around within another year or two, then. We need to move on from. I'm, McCarthy. I'm looking at it from an outsider's perspective. <laughs> Which is, uh, am I? I, uh, <clears throat> I don't think McCarthy's a guy. Nope. I think you jumped the gun, mm -hmm. and that was the last available whatever. So he's right. like, oh, I'm just going to give him a chance. You know, more and, of, and, I would have been more of a fan to get a younger guy. Th this right. is this is my problem being a Vikings fan with Zimmer. Mm -hmm. He's old. Hey, school. He's just too old school, man. Right. You got to get younger. We have the talent. We yeah. have, you know, Zeke and Cooper. So are we, all, we've had offensive line problems this year, injuries and things like that. You know, so but it's hard being a Cowboys fan this season. But <clears> things <throat> just kind of <throat> fell apart. No. Actually, I think we can finally see it, Max. Oh yeah, we should have lost to get a better draft pick. I <clears throat> I agree with that as well. Um, well, here's my. I, I was kind I of hoping. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that we would stay within the top five. Well, here's my thing, Max. Who 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 would you rather see them take with a draft pick? I mean, if you're in the top five... If the offensive tackle is there, we I, need O-line. I don't think he slips past the Bengals. I, he's going yeah, to be gone. Yeah, I don't think so either. Whether, whether, whether he goes to the Bengals or the Chargers are going to take him. Mm -hmm. If they're up there. Now... Well, the Chargers and Cowboys are the you same do, you record. Do, you do need so. defensive help. You need, a, you need secondary help. <clears throat> yes. Now, I don't know. We'd have to look more at... The prospects. Yeah, I don't know we would have to. Die. I haven't dived into the prospects. But here's the thing. Yeah. I know. Obviously, Dak's the guy. Would mm -hmm. you guys? Would you guys be opposed to maybe taking a, a rookie quarterback, getting somebody fresh but in there? Like, like um, you mm -hmm. kind of talk about. Sometimes you need to take a quarterback yearly, even or every other year. At least even. take one middle. Yeah, of the late we round. got. Always we got up Dak. For the Patriots. So. We got Dak in the fourth round, and like you said, the Patriots have taken different quarterbacks. And then, they flip and, them. Yeah, and then he flipped them for draft picks. Yeah. So you you always should take a quarterback. I, I always I believe that. Maybe not every so year, too. but at least every other year. So then Max said yeah. someone on defense. Yeah, I would say if the offensive tack wasn't there, then then we would go defense. So, I agree. No, I agree. Um, like I said, I haven't looked into the prospects. Though, so I don't know who how's, names. how's Trayvon Diggs look this year? Your corner. How's he look this year that you took? He hasn't played uh, great our, our defense is bad. Our defense yeah. is like 32nd in the league. And, no. all, and like, all, I mean, at least the run defense is. It? So Max, We're bad. Max, Max, Max came was... back and said, no way Dak will come back strong. Hopefully. Yeah, that's see, that's yeah. another that's another thing, too. That's you know, I was... How's he going to come back play? I hope that if we do get him, if we can lock him in a cut, I hope that he's willing to talk, you know, 20 to 25 million and then put incentives I, I, in there. Yeah. Lay a bunch of incentives for, you know, if he plays mm -hmm. well. I would go that route if he's willing, but the way that we played, how we're four and nine, mm -hmm. it looks like his case to get a deal is going to be as strong as ever. But then Jerry's side would be well the injury we don't know so I know I don't know how this is gonna work. One thing too, I don't know who's gonna be able to strong arm who. You kind of said it. I think it was last week. I have a feeling with this that Jerry's gonna give him a deal that's gonna be more incentive, more, more base, right? But more friendlier than I, I would say it should be. 
Mm-hmm. Because you know Jerry seems like he he takes care of his uh, takes care of his own. Yeah, he does. We've been signing a lot of guys, but yeah. n- now you guys are at Cooper, the point where you Lawrence, got, Smith. You got these guys signed, and are they really the future? Honestly, Van Der Esch is going to need. You got a lot of guaranteed money, th- money wrapped up. In yes, we do. I think this off season you might have to unload maybe one one or two of these contracts. Mm-hmm. I could agree I mean, with that. Which, I mean, then it kind of throws out Cooper. I know mm-hmm. he's your. Number one, but you got CD, got CD who's looking promising, and you got Gallup. And we might need a draft. It's another. really hard to keep three receivers. Yeah, either. especially yeah. when you're going to end up having to because they all want the ball too. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah. you have that issue. So. Now I think when Dak's there, you guys don't have a problem really because Dak will throw 400, 500 yards a game, mm-hmm. easy if he comes back strong. Right, if he comes back strong, which I think he hopefully he I does. think he'll be okay. But I'm just worried about if he's going to want forty million a year. Which I, I'm hoping that he's going to be willing really to work. You can't really want that much after what just happened. Right. I'm hoping that he's going to be realistic and take no. 25 with some incentives to get mm-hmm. up to 30 to 33. Mm-hmm. Max said, uh, Dak but, proved they leads the team. Cowboys went way south when he got hurt, which I agree. Yep. That, which, that, that's the problem. Mm-hmm. I mean, heck, Dak was still leading the league in for a out. couple weeks, man. He should have, he should have taken that deal when he had a chance. I agree. The thirty-three you. million a year. Because I don't guaranteed. think it's going to be that much when he gets another deal. So that that's what I'm wondering. I, I don't know if he's going to be able to strong arm Dallas to say, "Well, look what happened." Either you keep after Dalton, you lost me. Either you keep Dalton for another year. Is he under a one-year deal? I probably. Think so. Or you draft a younger guy. Maybe not take a guy. Right at the top, but just, maybe second round. Just to put a little bit of pressure to make sure he plays well. Like maybe like a Mac Jones mm-hmm. or what, Kyle Trask. <laughs> one of those I think, guys. I think Mac Jones would kind of be, he's more your pocket passer kind of. Mm-hmm. Which in a, it kind of too depends on if you're going to keep McCarthy. Because just going by the will. way that they run the mm-hmm. offense. Stephen Jones already said they're keeping McCarthy. So. Yeah, yeah I, like I said, I, I'm okay with that because I think... As a, you don't want to just one year throw him out. Mm-hmm. No. You want to give him a couple years to see if his program that he's installing mm-hmm. is really going to work. Well, because the Browns did that every year. Right. Every year yeah. they get a new coach, new coach. Right, new coach, and you, you're not going to succeed yeah. if you're constantly – I give him three years. But yeah. then if you don't see an, uh, an incline in those three years, mm-hmm. then that's when you – no, yeah. we're done. But if, if it's just, if it levels off or it declines, then yeah, you get rid of them. But if you start, you know, we go 5-11 and 11 this year, and then we go 8-8 eight and eight next year, and then the third year we're 11-5, and five, then you keep him around. You sign him, you know, yeah, sign yeah. McCarthy a little longer well, to well, see think, if we can get to the Super Bowl. I think, I think, too, the problem with McCarthy is this job is a what you have to win now. Right, and, oh, yeah. and that's what we were expecting from him, but that's not what happened. Even I though, think that's why you guys are saying that we jumped Even though, how long did Jones give Garrett? I mean, he was there for yeah. a while, wasn't he? And, and, that's, and, 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 the, and the fans were like, get rid of this guy, get rid of this guy. And he's kind of hanging on, and hanging on, and hanging on, and hanging on. Yeah, and then this happened, so. I, Which... I don't know, but it we, could go either way. Yeah. We do have to keep moving on on All our right. pickums, though, unless if there's any other comments to respond. Well, Max, to. you got any other questions? You can <laughs> yeah, let just us know. shoot us in the comments. <laughs> we do have to move on, though. Um, the five and seven football team at the five and seven forty niners. I think we all kind of guessed football team on this one as well, and that's what happened. Max uh, the, said uh, McCarthy doesn't clap enough. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. But, um, the football team won twenty-three to fifteen. Alex Smith um, did get yeah. hurt in this game, which ugh. and they said Haskins might be the starter in the next game. Yeah, so, yeah, Haskins was, finished the game out. This um, could derail their season, to be honest. Yeah, with it very well could. Mm-hmm. The football team is now six and seven. The 49ers are five and eight. Just 49ers are injuries. Is, yeah, injuries. Bad year for them. No. Football team is now um, in control of the division. No. So, like you said, it, it might. There's three games to play that might have derailed the season, but the if, division's so close. Yeah. If not, I'm gonna say Alex Smith wins Comeback Player of the Year. I agree. Because I think it'll have he, he went through to. 17 surgeries. A lot of them were like infection based, but um, he went through a bunch of surgeries on that leg. And not only did he come back to play at the NFL or in the NFL, but he, he's playing winning football 
in the NFL. Yeah. So that's that's even more amazing. Just hats off to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one so. more thing. Uh, Max went ahead and said, thanks, guys. Keep up the good cast. Thank you. Yeah, th- appreciate th- it. Thank you for the comments, man. Thanks for for actually interacting with us a little bit. Cowboy, so. Cowboy fans got to stick together, right? Yes, <laughs> hell yes. Um, I don't know really what else there is to say about this one. Other That's than about they, it, yeah. Over the next couple of weeks, we'll kind of see what unfolds yeah. with the NFC East. I think the biggest thing, too, football team, the defense is going to have to start carrying the load. Yeah. Good old Chase <laughs> Young. <laughs> Carry the load. I see the thing. Chase Young is what we all thought Jadavian Clowney yeah. was supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. I seen like a it was like a meme or everybody somebody forgets about Mario that. Williams. Yep. <laughs> On to the Sunday night game that that wrapped up the Sunday late. Got a couple good games. The up the there. Sunday night game was the eleven and one Steelers at the nine and three Bills, which we all took the Bills. The Bills won twenty six to fifteen. Steelers two weeks in a row. Two yeah two weeks in a row. Two losses in They're, a row. Steelers are now eleven and two. The Bills are now ten and three. Now this. Does this show us that the Steelers aren't as good as that eleven and zero record show? I didn't. I didn't think they were as good when they were undefeated. Still, I, I, there's something I about agree. them, man. I mean, they're a good team, but, but I, I think you. Put, I think you put them up in the playoffs against the Browns, the Jeez. Ravens, Jeez. the Bills, the Chiefs. I think Titans. I think they they could all beat them. Yeah, they almost lost to sure. Dallas when Dallas had a freaking third string quarterback yeah. in. They almost lost to the second stream quarterback with the Ravens because Lamar was out for COVID. Now, I, and I, then they did lose to the football team, and then they did lose to this team, the Bills. And the Bills so, have totally turned it around. Right. Josh Allen is tearing it up. The best thing they did was get Diggs. Um, Cole Beasley, surprisingly, is... Yeah. I hated to see Stephon Diggs go, but he came out actually. They asked him that he wanted out of Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Because they were too focused on running the ball, mm-hmm. which which I get, but I think there's more to it. He wants yeah. to be the guy. He had Thielen there with him. You know when mm-hmm. really, to really my opinion, I think Thielen started stealing the thunder. Yeah, yeah, probably. But but he, we made out well. We got Justin yeah. Jefferson out of it. So. Yeah, you guys are doing okay with Jefferson, like you said, the Bills. Mm-hmm. Ten and three, they're looking good. They're looking like they got the um, AFC East. Yep. Is it AFC? They're looking like they're going to take the AFC East this year. So. Yeah, they look really First good. time in how many years that the Patriots haven't yeah. locked this division it's down? It's actually minutes. cool to see, like it the is. Dolphins it is. and the Bills, and it's actually a tight race. Yeah. I, I like it. I now, like it. one flip side is kind of close out the Steelers. Do you guys think that TJ Watt can pull the Defense Player of the Year out? Because uh, I think so. He, he's a beast, man. Yeah. He's I really, a beast. I, I think it's between him and I think it's between Do- him and Do- Donald. Donald. Donald, yeah. Which, if you look at Watt, he's leading a lot. Like, tackles for a yeah. loss. I think he's second tied for sacks. And JJ Watt got behind him, too, and, and like, was tweeting stuff. Get behind me. Come on. <laughs> Tweet me. <laughs> I get in front of you. Um, pit day. Like I said, Steelers are 11 and 2. They've showed a little bit of flaws over the last couple of weeks. Not just the two losses, but like I said, even the weeks preceding that. No. I think it kind of showed. I think the the Dallas and Ravens game kind of showed teams the blueprint mm-hmm. on how to beat them. So the They're Steelers, the Steelers are going to have to shift some things around mm-hmm. if they want to if they want to win in the in the postseason. Well, I, I think another thing too was I don't know if you guys saw that, but Ben said if he keeps playing like that, he might as well retire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which I did not see. I don't think Ben's going to last that many more yeah, years. I don't think so either. Like, Maybe one or two more years. I mean, I, it's kind of it's one of those things where we're starting to see now the quarterbacks that we've watched for the past decade. They're slowly starting yep. to dwindle. Breeze, yeah. Roethlisberger. It's but, a different game now, man. Mm-hmm. You got to be it's mobile. A, you got to Kyler Murray, Russell have, Wilson, have you noticed Mahomes. The, kind of to go off hybrid. Of that, have you noticed that a lot of these mobile quarterbacks? It seems like they could take hits now. Yeah. Mm. Because like RG three, Lamar. Yeah, I mean Lamar's you know running. Josh Allen takes a lot of hits. Josh, he's built bigger though. Yeah, yeah. But you know Murray, you've seen a lot yeah. more of these guys, and they're absorbing the hits actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On to the next one, man. This, this is, next, this is yours. It was a barn burner for the ages. The seven and five Ravens at the nine and three Browns. 
This was tight. The Ravens Real. pulled this out 47 to 42. I'll let you take it away. <laughs> It was, I would say this is probably going to be game of the year. Like I told mm. you, I think this reminds me of that Chiefs and Rams, Rams game a few yep. years ago. Yep. This game was all that in a bag it, it of was, chips. It was a man. barn burner well, for sure. Start with the Brown side. Baker, I know we've kind of doubted him, but mm. he... Last couple weeks, he's looked really good. I mean, I can't remember, 350, I think, passing. Yeah. 350 yards... I mean, he's really not making... He only made really one mistake. Not too mm. many mistakes. Yeah. I think a lot of it's helping with the Browns, as though, like you said, you have those two running backs. Yeah, with you, Chubb the two, and you Hunt. Have the two running backs, and it, it may, I'm kind of laughing and smiling here. They got... Um, Odell went down. They're playing better. And, and he's playing better. <clears throat> it, it's almost like with Odell there... Like you were saying about Diggs, forcing the ball to you're him. forcing the ball to one receiver, mm-hmm. or, or at least as a quarterback, you're you, worried about getting the ball to that receiver yeah, rather man, than mentally. just seeing the field no. as a quarterback hitting the open guy. Mm-hmm. You're, i got to hit Odell or he's going to get mad. Mm-hmm. It's in the back of your head. Maybe, maybe not all the time, but with Odell like, not there, they're playing better. I know, it's not, weird. Well, I know, it's kinda, just weird. Another thing with, say, like Odell... You have that drama queen kind of attitude, right? Right. You gotta, you, okay, yeah. you gotta give him the ball. And which, that's what I think Baker is worried about. Well, oh, I gotta get it to him. Yeah, he's gonna yell at me. Or right, or he's gonna yell at <laughs> me. Or, or, the mess. or make a big Twitter rant or whatever. You know. But I tell you what, man, the Brown, the Browns after watching that game last night, <clears throat> you're sold. Even on. though they lost, I mean, they look like the real deal mm-hmm. last night. I mean, you know, by looking at it. 42 points. I know this is something to kind of think about, but honestly, I could, I could see the Ravens and the Browns being the two in the playoffs and the Steelers mm-hmm. and the Yeah. If they were able to, schedule-wise, right. depending on how the schedule. Right, if they didn't have to face each other right away. Now, kind That's of the f- flip side of the Browns, that defense did not look good. No. Mm-hmm. They were tired. But the Ravens' defense didn't look good either. Yeah, 42 points, 47 points. The Browns' defense, I mean, Lamar, every time Lamar... <clears throat> Went to run or what? I mean, it was just it was they could yards, not guard him. Lamar had to go put some different shoes on. Yeah, he was yeah, slipping, for that. slipping slide. And Raven's side. What I happened mean, to Lamar? I started cramping, which cramping. everybody was joking saying he was playing a Paul Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> which I mean, it was close game, and then fourth quarter came and back and forth, back and forth. You know, Baker and them, they go down there and score, get the two-point, and then you hear Lamar's not on the sideline, and you're like, oh, shit. And you're like, the game's over now. Yep. McSorley comes in, and they punt it on that one, that drive, and then McSorley goes on a third and five and runs it and tweaks his ankle. And here comes, <laughs> which, uh, to that point, we have no RG3s on the IR. McSorley's out. Lamar's in the locker room. Here comes Lamar hobbling out. <laughs> comes in there fourth and five and throws a touchdown pass. To Brown. Finally. Yeah. Brown looked pretty Hollywood, bad that game. Hollywood Brown. Then there was like a minute something left or a couple minutes left right after that. Next, Baker and them went down. They hit, went down scored again. The Browns did. Lamar clutch. Hit Go. Andrews twice. And then something. I, I'm glad we have him, Justin Tucker. Game winning 55 yard field goal. We'll trade you a first rounder for him. Yeah. <laughs> we already gave you. Yeah. Was it? Trade you Dan you Bailey. Guys, and... You guys got a damn good kicker, man. <clears throat> Which I'll say that about They were him. talking to Tucker, and they said, well, were you expecting them to ice? And he's like, oh, I don't worry about that. Yeah. But. <sighs> you go out there and make the kick. <laughs> We've been on the same side, though, with Billy Cundiff. Mm-hmm. You know, there were a couple of games versus the Patriots back in the day we should have won. But... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was a good game. I, I think that we're, I think, to me personally, we're starting to see Lamar's got that fire again. All right, you're starting to see a little bit of a... Um, when you did it against a good team, because, God, right. who would have thought? We talked earlier, the Browns, man. They were looking... They're nine they, and four, yeah. the Browns. They're just, nine and just, four, the Ravens are eight and five. Just to kind of give like a little recap. So this game was 47-42, really. I'd, I'd consider it 45, because they were doing the whole... Miami Miracle, you know. Yeah, throwing mm-hmm. the ball back because there was no time left and they got a safety. But 45 to 42, <laughs> but though, still. Going to the first game they played earlier this year, the Ravens won 38 to 6. And yeah. this was a lot tighter. <clears throat> so. So I think 
Stefanski. Odell played in that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, it, Stefanski looks like he's got them in the right direction. Yeah, don't remind me. Could have been a Vikings head coach. <laughs> yeah, we let him go. So that was a bad idea. With that being said, that wraps up the um, Ravens win. NFL win. Week 14. <clears throat> yep. We'll go over our um, <clears throat> win loss. So. Sheet. Oh. That you went third, Uh-oh. but are we doing it by how we're actually ranked? Well, you can just say yeah. both of you guys. You just say what you did this week. Oh, well, I went ten and six. I went ten and six as well. I went nine and seven. Then I think I'm still rounding out. I'm in third place, one seventeen and <laughs> ninety two overall. God, he picked a lot of bad games. I'm one thirty and seventy eight. Me and you, man, we're and right I'm, there. I'm one thirty two and seventy six. So I'm we're two just games two games game. away. I've almost picked a hundred games wrong, fellas. <laughs> so we'll go through our week fifteen predictions here. So oh, dun, 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 dun. Thursday oh. night. This is kind of a cool week here. We got a Thursday game, Saturday games, Sunday and Monday. So Thursday night, four and nine Chargers at seven and six Raiders. I feel like this one could go. We say it all the time. I, I think it could. I think but it could too. I just think the Raiders get it back on track this week, man. I'm gonna go with the Raiders as well. I'm trying to pick against the Raiders? No, I'm just <laughs> I'm gonna go Raiders. So the next one we got the uh, early Saturday game. Yeah. Got the ten and three Bills and the five and eight Broncos. I gotta go Bills. The Bills are oh, yeah. for real this year. Then we got a Saturday night game. Four and nine Panthers and the ten and three Packers. I gotta go Packers. Packers. I gotta stay logical here. And then we're gonna kick off going into the early Sunday games. So we got the four and nine Texans and the nine and four Colts. Staying logical as well. I'm going Colts. You know, I, I feel guess. like this could be an upset I, I, somewhere. I do too, but I'm trying to stay logic. I'm trying to do what pick with my brain, not my gut. Yeah, but the Texans, can't remember the Texans how they played them the first. The, the Texans yeah. have won a couple. I think the Texans won the first one. Yeah. I believe off the top of my head. And they played bad this last game. My thing is that Rivers is due for a bad game. I'm going. <laughs> I'm, go, I'm going Texans. Okay. It's a weird upset. <laughs> Uh, let me get Michael Cold. <laughs> Five and eight Lions at nine and four Titans. Is there a question on this one? Yeah, I'm going Titans. Titans. Next one we got the eight five Bucks and the four and nine Falcons. I gotta go Buccaneers. This is gonna surprise you. I'm gonna go Falcons. Okay. Ooh. I don't think the Bucks are are that great. Right. Mm-hmm. Like I said, we almost if we would have made those field goals. I don't either, but I think it's. This game's really Falcons versus Brady, and it seems like mm-hmm. they have been the same since they played Brady. Right. Hey, this is the revenge game. Yeah, it could be. So next one, we got the one and twelve Jags start Minshew again. Oh God! Versus the eight five Ravens. I'm no, going, uh, I'm Ravens. going Ravens. That's not a question. Um, the oh, Jaguars are just bad. You better hope I picked some of these wrong. I said you better hope I picked some oh, of these wrong. Yes, yeah. I picked much... two different than you. So <laughs> that's so true. Far. The next one we got the six and seven Patriots and the eight and five Dolphins. I'm going Dolphins. I'm going Dolphins. I'm gonna go Dolphins as well here. Next, oh man! The next one we got the Battle of the North. <laughs> six and sevens Bears and Vikings. Uh, I'm gonna go Vikings just I'm because. Going Vikings. Just because, like you said, the Vikings. They're better than the Bears, I do believe, but they win some of these games and then they yeah. lose some. I'm gonna go Vikings also. Then we got the nine and four Seahawks and the six and seven football. Ooh. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go Seahawks. And I, if Alex Smith was playing for the football team, I might go football team. Yeah. But I, I Haskins just, I don't. Yeah. I, I agree. I'm gonna go Seahawks as well. It's just, it's the logical choice here. Then we got the five and eight Forty Niners and the four and nine Cowboys. Oh. <gasps> Well, scream a little louder. Uh, it's gonna be tight. I feel. I pick, feel like the, I feel like the Cowboys are gonna win this game, but I really don't want them to. Yeah. Because can. at this point, I'd rather just you gotta go for the draft pick, go for the damn well, draft pick. Well, if you do this, you're gonna be tied with the Niners. It's so weird looking at this game. 49ers and Cowboys makes me think of like the early '90s. Right. Like. Right. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go Cowboys officially. Um, that wraps up the Sunday early. Did you you chose the Cowboys yep. as well? 
Okay, so the Sunday late games, the 0-13 Jets <laughs> at the 9-4 and Rams. Can the Jets do it? No. Are you sure? They can't. I don't think they want to, to be honest. Yeah, with I'm going to go Rams. No, I got a feeling. <laughs> they don't. You, you're already in third lagging way behind. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. So. I might as well pick every game up. <laughs> Not every game. You got to be somewhat logical. I'm going Rams. Now this next one could be interesting. I think so too. We got the four eight and one Eagles with Jalen Hurts at quarterback mm -hmm. taking on the seven and six Cardinals. Kyler Murray. Uh, I'm gonna go Cardinals. I'm gonna go Cardinals as well. I don't. You don't think Hurts is gonna do it? Not over Murray. Yeah. He did it over. Uh, I don't he did so. it over the Saints. Mm -hmm. so. Nobody cares about takes <laughs> The twelve and one Chiefs at the ten and three Saints. I think it's going to be the Chiefs just because Taysom you know, Hill. You're right, Taysom Hill versus Mahomes. I'm, I got to go Chiefs as well. I got a feeling if there if Drew Brees was playing, feeling. not off of a half week bullshit, but if, if it was legitimately Drew Brees, you know, I, I might take the Saints. To me though, the Chiefs seem like Mahomes is due I, for a loss. No, I, I could see due that. for a loss. They're kind of getting sloppy. So, no. That's possible. I'm going Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Talk okay, yourself that, right out of it. That wraps up the Sunday late 4 p.m. games. The Sunday night game. Man, these next two games for being primetime games I are, know. are you, very good. You would think the Chiefs and Saints would have got flexed into Monday this because 12-1 versus 10-3. The, but the official game is the 9-4 and four Browns at the 5-8 and eight Giants. It's the Browns. You know, I'm going to go with the Browns. They, they had a tight loss against a very good Ravens You want to say that again? Tight. You're stuck on that word tonight, bud. Well, damn right I am. I'm not stuck. I'm, it, st I'm stuck. You guys made your picks on yeah, the Browns. Browns yeah. This Monday night game. Whew, this is going to be a stink fest, dude. Nobody wants to see this. 11 and 2 Steelers at the 2 10 and 1 Bengals. Let's go, Bengals. I can see. I'd love it, the Bengals won. No. <laughs> Before the season was put together, since this is a divisional game, Had it been I can see, but, but you think they would flex these out. Yeah, you think. I'm going to go Steelers. They lost a you couple, have to. I mean, but and I think they get it back on track against the the lowly Bengals. I'm going to go Steelers, but I hope the Bengals win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm lucky, bud. Yeah. Well, hell, you should, right. want, yeah, hell, you should want the Bengals to keep fucking losing. You get that left tackle. That's true, too. So, everybody. I think that's about yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, we really appreciate you, you guys. Um, Comment. Interacting and commenting Comment. with us, we like it. And we so. do we do this every every Tuesday, unless there's some weird right. flex of COVID game. Or yeah, how there was a couple Wednesday games, and then we moved it to Wednesday. So yeah, Tuesdays yeah. normally we'll go at six. Hey. Sometimes we're a little late. A little yeah, late. we're a little but, late today, but and everybody. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we're trying to figure some things out with the the posting in the groups. Finally got it where so. we can put it in some other groups. So let us know if there's anything you want us to talk about or cover that maybe we didn't talk about. Or mm -hmm. likes, give us a like and subscribe. We've got a YouTube channel for Man Power Trip. Yeah, we usually take these and post them up on YouTube also. So and if everybody wa anybody wants to talk with us, we're open. Yeah, yeah just He's co open. comment, <laughs> yeah, like and subscribe. He's open. Send the comments. We'll yeah. we'll, we'll comment back. We'll talk. Yeah, talky talky. We like to do that. All so, right, peace out, guys. Take it easy. Adios. See you later. Adios.